Welcome back, everybody. Today is a big day for the Flux community. We've got some new tools. So what we're going to be taking a look at is the release of Flux tools. I'm not going to go through the entire article, but there will be a link in the description. There's Flux fill, which I'm going to add to my pack tomorrow. Flux depth, which we've covered a Laura tutorial. A Laura workflow is in the pack. Canny Laura, which is also in the pack. And Redux, which is also compatible with Flux Schnell. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button because YouTube ain't going to tell you. We've tested all of these and I will say, just make sure that you update your comfy because when I did it, I had a file that was too long in my input folder and it blocked the update of my comfy. It told me it was done, but it actually didn't do it. And when I checked the logs, I put a bug report in. I was like, there's no way that they, there's no way they released it and this didn't work because it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. And I went back, did the update again, checked my console and it actually said, oh yeah, actually you, uh, <laughs> you've got this one image in your input file folder, which has got a really long file name. So I'm not going to update, which is a bit weird, but whatever. We deleted that image, did the update again, and it went through. Like I said, it's strange because I updated a week ago and I've had that image in my uh, folder for probably months. But hey, no harm, no foul. We got it done. So what I want to do is just quickly uh, take a look at the article which I've put up. So there's the big deal, control net. So official control net flux. We've had some unofficial control nets for flux, but we haven't had official ones. And they do seem to be pretty good. So what I've done is I've put in a little write-up article. Again, the link is in the description of the video. So there'll be a link, obviously, here as well if you didn't find that. So, yeah, just make sure you check the description and you'll find those links. There's a link to the canny, a link to the depth. These are both the Lauras. And then there's full-size models as well, which I will also cover because they have a slightly different way of being implemented. So what I've done is I've given you the uh, implementation of the Redux, which is Dev and Schnell, and then the two LoRa's, okay, which are about 1.2 gigabytes each. Now, I'm going to put out some optimized versions because it turns out that you can do FP8 with these, and the quality was about the same. I mean, I haven't done enough testing yet. We've only had hands-on for this for about an hour, uh, maybe two, because it's quite late where I'm at. It's nearly 10 o'clock in the evening now, so... But like I said, we're going to be coming back and taking a look at Phil. So uh, I've got some great ideas coming up with Redux combined with Phil. Because Redux can be chained. That's something which uh, we've done before with style, style models. So what we're going to be doing is just taking a quick look at those uh, workflows. So let's jump into Comfy. Okay, so I think that this is my canny basic. So all I've pretty much done is rearranged things so that they're in a specific, so they're going from left to right. Um, and then I've obviously added in the canny edge processor, okay, which is part of control networks. And so when you load your image, it's going to take your image, and it's going to make it into a canny map, and then it's going to put that map into the instruct picks to picks, okay? Um, once you get that done, I've also given you a couple of extra bits. So extra models gives us the ability to force the clip or force the VAE to CPU or CUDA, which is your graphics card. It's default set to graphics card, but I'm going to show you a little example of what you can do if you have, maybe if you don't have a 4090, right? So what you can do is you can select E4 FPA E4 M3 FN, and then you can do the same thing for the clip. You can also, if you have good system memory, I would say about 32 gigabytes minimum really is what you're going to need. You can put that to CPU for both of these as well. Not that, but that, like that. And I would say my, I've got an original VAE, so yours might be AE.safeTensors. And also, I put my, sometimes I put my things into like a flux folder. So you might not have it in a flux folder. So when you pick your LoRa, you might want to just check your path that it is where it is. So you just got to pick it from the list, okay? So this is going to be Canny Dev LoRa, right? Um, and like I said, this would be a way that you could fit it into a little bit less memory. That's going to half the amount of space that it's going to take up on your GPU anyway. Probably a little bit more than that because you're going to be offloading the VAE and the clip. But when I was testing it, it should go over the maximum for my card even, and it doesn't. 
So you, you might just try it with the defaults first because FP16 is better. Um, I would always try to use FP16 with the full model if I can. Um, and I would do the uh, offload of the clip and the VAE to CPU before doing the FP8. But to be honest, I like I said, I need to test it more, but I didn't really notice a huge reduction in detail. I will say, though, you've got to be aware, right? This is pix to pix instruct. So it's not necessarily the same as a normal prompt, okay? But anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you about that. So let's just uh, move on to the depth. So the depth is exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is we put the depth Laura here. Oh, I don't know why that's there. Anyway, that's probably going to sneak into the version, so you can ignore that. It's not used. I think I was just looking at how it was set up, but anyway. Um, same thing applies, everything that I just said, same thing applies, right? If you want to force it to answer CPU first, you know, to try and get, get it to squeeze in with maybe you have a little bit less memory, you want to try experimenting with putting it to CPU on these force nodes first and then try the FP8 if that's going to still cause problems to see if you can squeeze it in like that. So that's pretty much all I had to say. I've given you a uh, file path generator so you'll find your project outputs in folder, flux tools, depth, and then the file names start with flux. So that's what that's doing there. All right. And obviously we've got, we're using Zoe depth, but you can use whatever depth processor that you want, to be honest. So if you have a like Marigold or some other um, depth pro preprocessor, you can use that. And then moving on to the next one, what we've got here is we've got the... Uh, the Redux, so Redux comes with a SIG clip vision patch. Now, if you go and look at my article, if you scroll down to the bottom, it does give you where that is, where you can download it. It's provided by Comfy.org, and then where to put it. So they're going to go into clip vision and style models. All right, super simple. And like I said, this is your Flux One Redev, uh, Redux. Um, it, this one works for Dev and for Schnell. So I'm going to, the next tab I'm going to show you is the, is the, oh wait, no, this is the Schnell version, okay? So here's the Flux One Schnell Redux. I have added my image size adjuster so that it should be able to handle different aspect ratios than one to one. But I would say you're sending the original, whatever this image is, however big it is, it's being sent into Clip Vision. And I know that some Clip Visions actually squish your image down and make it square. So that I don't know, because I haven't done enough experimentation, might not even be the case, but I know that in the past, sometimes vision doesn't look at the whole image if it's extremely tall or extremely wide. But again, testing needs to be done to prove whether that's true or false. I've also put the uh, flux to one of our favorites in, a, in this community, which is the 1.5 boost, which is just a flat max and base of 1.5. That's what I put on all of my Flux workflows as part of the photo pack. Um, we're using a guidance of 3.5. I haven't changed my prompt here. <laughs> and it didn't matter. <laughs> I still got Assassin Carb, so I'm using my one of my Assassin Carb images. And um, it's, you know, obviously I probably could have done a better job with that prompt there. But again, I wanted to see what would happen if I just left it. So... And I don't know, it's given me an abstract assassin. Looks a bit ghoulish. He's got the skeleton, he's got the hair. It's just a bit more anime than I thought it would be. So it has done something. But again, um, this one doesn't use the uh, picks to picks, which is what the other ones use, all right? But again, we've got our project file path, so you'll find it Flux Tools Redux, okay? That's where those are going to end up. And we're just using the simple defaults that were given in the examples by Comfy.org. All I've done is reorganize it so it reads from left to right, top to bottom. And again, we've got our safe aspect size for Flux and 1024 base models. And we've got our project file path generator with the subdirectories all set up so it's nice and clean. Um, notes in here, we've got links for joining the Discord if you want to come over and ask any questions. We're always here ask, uh, uh, interested in what you guys have made. And then that's something else for a completely different video. So, yeah, other than that, if you wanted to change it to dev mode, all you've got to do is pick dev. So we'll just go for dev just there. And uh, again, the same thing applies. I haven't put the force 
Uh, I haven't put like the clip force on this one. So there will be updates to this. I just wanted to get it out tonight so that everyone can start messing around with it. There will be a update. There will be an update of the pack. So what I've done is I've put a link because the pack isn't updated on Civit because we've got so many new workflows. It deserves a longer video. So what I've decided to do is just link straight to where these four workflows are. So if you go over there, DJZ workflows, photo flux, flux tools is a new folder and you've got canny depth, redux dev and redux Schnell. Those are the four new workflows. So that's pretty much everything. This is like a hot, hot update for you guys. So pretty much that is everything I've got for you. So like I said, leave some comments. Uh, thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you next time.